Welcome to a new test and teardown video. This time I'm going to investigate and look at a lot of do-it-yourself uh, kits and products. I bought a lot of really, really good made home brew constructions. And this is the first one of them. It's called UHF TV Converter. So I guess it was used uh, for older TV sets, uh, which could only uh, receive uh, VHF bands uh, around 50, 60 megahertz. But of course, more and more television stations, they moved up into the UHF bands. So of course you need a down converter. So he made a down converter so he could play with uh, older TV sets. And it is built into the uh, very famous uh, MKA cases. MK is uh, made of um, powder coated uh, steel plates and uh, the back and the front that's aluminum and uh, this is also steel and this is uh, there's a little bend here so you can mount some stuff uh, they're very very easy to work with those uh, cases and they're nice and uh, beautiful and this I haven't powered this up yet so I don't know yet but if it works or not but we're just gonna do that in a second well, look at that it's actually quite good uh, made so there's a mains transformer, two diodes, so half bridge <laughs> rectification, capacitors and a drop resistor for the center, another filter resistor and the capacitor and then supply the down converter. I guess this is a down converter scored from a TV set or something like that, right? And I was looking through this in the front and I said, well, we get a, an LED for power on and then another LED. Why is that? So when I open this one, I see some bulbs. So they're going to shine some light under this. Okay, I don't know if you can see this. Let me show you. When I turn this around, look at that. So there's a scale that turns. That is illuminated. Isn't that just wonderful? I mean, I don't see this kind of DIY often, but I really like it. This is well made. And this rectangular hole was not easy to make. That beautiful. It is really nice. Look at that. Well done. And then there's like, a, this is a balance filter or impedance match. Filter. And it's made in double, so double filtration, and then it goes into a single ended, and then 50 ohms out again, uh, or 75 or something like that. So input is semi rigid. Whoa, look at that, huh? Not too bad. I mean, this is pretty okay. Really? Let's power it up and see if it works, right? It only says, yeah, here, yeah. oh, yeah, look at that. So, yeah, definitely around 50 megahertz we're gonna look at. And UHF in. Uh, so, that should be uh, easy to look at. So, I think we're ready to power this up. This is an off. Let's crank on the mains. 1230 watts. Are you kidding me? So, are you crazy? I totally did not expect that. Really? And there's no. Okay, there's a problem. Because we don't have any lights here. We got something that is shorted, right? Did the fuse not blow? No, it's 30 watts. There's a short in one of the diodes or something because I got no light in the LED and nothing is working here. Okay, so we need to repair <laughs> before we can play. That is actually not so often you see this. 
but, but the capacitors they're completely shorted so what I did is I lifted the series resistor to everything just power this off at DC so now I don't need the capacitors um, the two diodes here actually works so yeah shorted capacitors and this means we can now play we got light let me see it's not possible to see the bulbs illuminate the scale mm. I don't know if it's really really nice and dark can we see some frequencies aha so th this will be the channels so this is how it's called right how cool is that and the output was around 50 megahertz so I connected this to this input 50 megahertz la 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 10 megahertz span isn't this just cute so of course it works and then ooh. so this is how you tune for the frequency I input uh, 490 megahertz and now I can tune it down to 50 megahertz like you see here so this nice uh, converter actually works that is really cool <laughs> yay so let's look inside the filter it was this nice metal box that was located right here so look how beautiful this low pass filter is made the capacitors here that's actually feed through capacitors where the feed through is cut away but it's really really beautifully made and also look at the performance a super super flat all the way to 100 megahertz and then there's a super super good attenuation at the higher frequencies of course you want to remove the injection frequencies and of course you can have uh, have it flat double um, the frequency that you want you want 50 megahertz so you can go to 100 and uh, that's perfectly fine because injections will be all the way up in the UHF band I'm just uh, in, enjoying all the fancy design details of this one let's look a little bit more about how this thing works so this is the UHF input it comes in here and see there's actually a filter so this piece of wire that is cut to length this is like a stop filter And this is a, a, a pre-amplifier or an isolation amplifier for the input signal. And here is a resonant filter for the for the input. So there's a DC short to chassis. That's the little red coil. And this piece of wire right here is actually working as an antenna and it emits the signal through that hole and now it is picked up in the next room by the oscillator and mixer so this one here is the oscillator and it is made to oscillate in a very special way can you see there's a little wire mounted on one of the pins of the transistor and that wire is twisted around another pin and that is to create the exact amount of feedback needed for this to oscillate and you can see this the outside here is working at a very high frequency because we got very little windings right and also there's a funny thing this here is actually a coax cable and a tiny bit of it sticks through this hole to create a coupling to that piece of wire here <laughs> can you see can you see the stuff that happens so input uhf couples to this resonance and then you got the oscillator that couples to this one right and now the output 
of this oscillator is here. Here it's mixed together, so it is coming out of that one. And here we go, lots of windings, so so they're very high or ultra high frequencies don't really go that well through here. So this will be our 50 megahertz output. So the 50 megahertz output is a single ended output right here. And now there is a filter. I open this one so I could show you what is going on. So here is a single ended to balanced output and filter. Can you see the two filter components here, filter coils and three feed through capacitors. We also got some other capacitors down here. And they're very, very good um, to kill UHF. So that is the purpose of this filter. And now our balanced output goes through the homemade coils right here. And that is made to make it single ended again, because of course he wanted to go through this low pass filter and go to um, single ended output. Just to prove that I'm not bluffing, let's try a little pickup and put it near this one. Look at that. And this is of course where it is the strongest. So this is the strongest field. So let's put the, well, just, let's just put it in here. It doesn't really matter where it is as long as it's not touching anything. So let's look at the frequency and dial this. Ooh, see, it goes all the way up. Oh, I think I'm actually killing it a little bit here. Let's see if I take this up a little bit. Yeah, exactly. See what I was doing? <laughs> let's put this a little bit up here maybe. This way we're not going to to kill the oscillator. And now it goes all the way to like 800 megahertz and down to like 400 and something. So yeah, that is how this fantastic thing works. Look at the way that it, it was made to be really, really good shielded. Also, kind of like the the lid here over the three uh, variable capacitors here. They, of course, need to be super well trimmed individually to match everything here that is working together here. So, so there was a lid you open with a RF tight. So you bend these little adjustment points out or in so you can f fine tune the sensitivity and the tracking all over the frequency ranges. So that is how it's done. You can see it's they're divided like this so so you can trim this individually. I think something was done to this capacitor here. Look at the center one. Well, something is a little bit special.